Where are we at now, Jess? We are at the Wax Museum of Tijuana. Wax Museum of Tijuana. Museo de Cerro. Cera. Cera. What did I say? Cero. What does that mean? Nothing, Zero. probably. Zero? Museum of Zero. Take this off here. Huh. This is awesome. That looks like Bill Cosby. That didn't age well. Did you hear about Bill Cosby, babe? Ooh, this guy and this guy have something in common. Besides fame. Politician? No, something else. Some of these guys look creepy. The what? Just hanging out. All right. This place does look kind of creepy, though. All right. It says price is a dollar fifty per. Dos por favor. Fifty pesos. All right. Please, the figures down from here, your spence, your medical prescriptions, to the and figures could possibly be useful to you. <laughs> if you're taking medicine, Jazz, it says some of these might be stressful. dark in here, I don't know. How else it's gonna come out? Yeah, definitely if you're taking drugs, this is gonna freak you out. Looks like they took the heart? They called murder before sacrifice. They didn't call it murder, they called it sacrifice. It's like you were sacrificing yourself for God. Mm. So it was a good thing for you to die. I don't think he did it willingly. I'd have to ask him though. People say that before it was an honor to die and they took your heart from your body. Yeah, did they eat it? Well, that's what they did to him. Yeah, they took it right out of his chest. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not tied down well, anymore. It, it's about that uh, here. Aztecs offer human sacrifices. It's a very important part of their religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. Men must correspond offering his food to them, the principal substance of life. Hmm. Nah, they're gonna have to chase me to want my heart. Yep, you're gonna have to chase me too if you want my heart. <laughs> Who's this guy? Huh. Is Montezuma? Mm -hmm. Huh. So we got. All right, only in Spanish. I'm gonna have to pass. Montezuma number two. We got a bird man. What do we got here? Quactec monk. This is Hernan Cortez, Conquistador, Conquistador de Mexico, o Nuevo España. Hmm. Babe, who's Hernan Cortez? Have you ever heard of him? No? It says right there, Hernan. Hernan. Yeah. He's the one that came and conquered. Christopher Columbus? No. Sorry, no, 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 that's another. Hernan Cortes, sí. Uh... Sometimes in Mexico they, they use different names in the words than the names we use in the US, so this 
person could be somebody I know, just different, uh, AKA. Yeah, but he conquered Mexico. He conquered? Yeah, conquistador de Mexico o Nueva España, como la llamó. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know that name. There's something new every day. Fry Junipero Serra. Fryer Tuck? I don't know, Juniper. Junipero Serra. Who's this little guy? Is this the little boy from... He's a... He, oh, sorry, but he's a regener of the California civilization. Uh -huh. San Diego de Alcala. So San Diego was based on... Okay. On this guy. this guy. But his name's Juniper. Juniper Founder of nine missions, including San Diego de Alcala, considered the cornerstone of California civilization. Hmm. So why is it called San Diego, not San Juniper? Uh, because San Diego de Alcala one of, was one of the missions mm -hmm. that he built. He mm -hmm. built different missions. Okay. Is this the kid from the Jungle Book? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it, right? Padre Quino. This place is creepy. I thought it was going to be like a Madame Tussaud place where it's a little more festive, it's a little upbeat. You can take cool pictures, like hold your arm around one of the wax museums. Talking about, got a little echo. Talking about creepy. Look at this lady. This lady looks like like the lady, like, like one of the witches from Hansel and Gretel. She's the Tijuana. She invented Tijuana? The history says that Tijuana was named after Tia Juana. La Tia Juana. Uh, she Did she have two kids? One named Hansel and the other named Gretel? That's <laughs> not No? No. She looks like a sweet old lady, but I don't know. I wouldn't trust her with any candy. Found the room. Those celebrities. These celebrities were from like, well, I guess they range, but we got some from the eighties. El Flaco y el Gordo is how they were called in in Mexico, but it's um, Laurel and Hardy. I think I could have their names changed around. Bill Cosby, Whoopi Goldberg. Look at that. <laughs> Why do they have Wesley Snipes? Sylvester Stallone looks like he's got a huge forehead and Eddie Murphy, well, looks like Eddie Murphy. Who are your favorites in this room? In this room, I would say Julia Roberts. Movie. We're gonna, we want to watch a movie Julia yeah, Roberts later, right? Like What's it called? Ben? Back is, ben is back. Ben is back. I've never, I've never heard of it. If she wants to go watch it, we'll do that. So, yeah, Julia Roberts, your favorite? I think it will be Wilbur. Yeah, Whoopi was always funny, but she's on The View now. What? She's got some weird... She's on a TV show called The View. She's got oh. some weird opinions about some stuff. I think the one that looks most like anybody, I think, is Mel Gibson when he was younger. That's how much the lows for it is a little bit off to me. Let's see what other cool stuff we can find up in here. Look at the creepy stuff. More creepy stuff. Look at the back. What is that? Let's go. Werewolf is gonna jump up. These are some of Mexico's famous, famous TV show dash movie people. Comedians. Yeah, comedy. Capulina. Uh, got some of old Tijuana, maybe. Yeah. You think? Tijuana, maybe. Tia Juana, Mexico. When it was called Tia Juana. Tia Juana, Mexico. Uh -huh. That is amazing. I did not know that history. And we have another room full of celebrities. At least I think. 
Ah, no, tío. El rey del mambo. Y Mexico's musicians. Pedro Infante, ok. Frida. Luis Miguel. You know any of these people, babe? You know any of these people over here? Yeah, these are Mexican traditional characters. Musicians? No, they could, some of them were actors, some of them were singers. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the Mexican culture, Hollywood mm -hmm. people. Mm. So I'm a huge fan of La Doña. La Doña. Which one's the that one, one at the back. Next, I got the sombrero. Frida for your cousin, Normita. Mm -hmm. Sara Garcia movies, I love them. She used to do many Mexican movies with Pedro Infante, what is mm -hmm. Jorge Negrete. Um, of course, the big Lola Beltran. Great Lola voice. Lola Beltran. Great voice, Mexican voice. Javier Batis, I, I got a picture with him. Luis Miguel. Is it? Really oh, bad. Oh, yeah, she likes a lot really of the Really stuff. bad one. They could do much better. Yeah. Doesn't look like. Does it look like? Like a bomb. <laughs> Another Mexican celebrity, Cantinflas. Lots of movies with him in it. Some of them black and white. If you can't tell, this is Madonna. Doesn't really look, I mean, maybe a little bit. Got a few other people. And look who it is. That's Tom Cruise, if you can't tell. Uh, one of the Beatles, is it Lennon? Elsa Ford, Rita Hayworth? <sighs> Do we have more of Tia Juana? Yeah. And who's that lady in the back over there? Charro? Veronica Castro. Who's that? She's the mom of Christian Castro. I don't know who that is. She's a very famous soap opera actress. Yeah, you've got the king. That actually looks like Elvis. Were you ever into Elvis? No. no? Don't step on my blue suede shoes. No? He made a, he loved his shoes so much he made a song about his shoes. Really? Yeah. We made it to the part of the museum where they do politics. Someone. Lazaro, I don't know who, but we got we got Billy. Here we go. John F. Kennedy. Also have some things in common, these two. That's Barack Obama? First of all, he's a little short. And he look I don't know. They don't exactly get his face, I don't think. These two I do believe that they're short. This, what happened to his finger? Oh, he did that one joke and someone actually did pull his finger right off. Got this joker right here. Gorbachev? Pink baby. That's Fidel Castro. Someone took his nameplate. I got a question. Did Mahama Gandhi carry a huge stick like that? Or is that artistic license? I don't know. I think he was carrying a stick. I don't know if he was that big. There's a space for one more. Ooh, one more president? Uh -huh. What president could fit in that corner? Or, or, in this or in this corner. Which president of what country? We've now entered the scary part of the Wax Museum. Oh, look at that, it's Dracula. What? La Llorona. I don't know if this is coming out in the video. I'm gonna have to use the other camera. La Llorona, really? And look, it's Dracula, and he's got a pool table. No, that's just coffee. What's up with the floors here? I think it's part of being creepy. Yeah, you think it's part of the effect? Yeah. 
is cool. Are you scared? Are you scared? <laughs> All right, let's go that way first. You think this is for effect or is it just the budget's low? I think they did it on purpose, so we we'll like to fix uh -huh. Because we only paid a dollar fifty to get in. No, it's hard as that. Novia Embarada? What does that mean? I don't know what it means. She was buried in a wall. I guess. Got some skulls. Jack. Jack the Ripper. But in Spanish, it's Jack el Destripador. You don't know that story? I'll tell you. It's in England. This guy called him Jack the Ripper. The Ripper meaning he'd rip people apart, usually women. And I don't think they ever caught him. They have theories, but they never caught him. He killed, I don't know how many women. Or people. Just in the middle of the night, he'll show up, put a knife or something at someone's throat, cut them up. Jack the Ripper. More skulls. I knew it was gonna be a wolf man. Cafe de la Hoya. <laughs> it's a little creepy. Oh, oh, look what I found. Your friend Pat. Yeah, I got a picture of Pat dressed as Freddy Krueger. But this is Freddy. He's the one that used to haunt my nightmares when I was a kid. That's the Crypt Keeper. Do you know that guy? No. And then you got just a mummy and... That looks like an actual person. He's gonna jump out and scare us at any minute. <laughs> Did you have nightmares of any of these people? I got one last one. I don't know who this is. You're gonna have to help me out. I guess it's a mother's nightmare. Kids dying looks like this kid's in Eden. Mom's just praying. This one's actually sad and scary. Yeah. Oh, look at this. That's scary too, right there. Look at that. shot but not an actual shot is there a snake in there yeah, yeah it's a oh my god dude they reuse the snake hey, it's tequila out here you want a shot i don't i just want a picture <laughs> shot i don't want an actual shot oh you guys god. uh don't get sick all right guys see you later there's <laughs> a snake in there nasty